Welcome back to the wild. It's Cyprus and I have been all over the southeastern part of Columbus, Ohio, and I did not return empty handed. I am so excited to show you the treasures that I found. Now for each of the six stores that I visited, this was my first time, but it won't be my last. So let's get into it. Okay, my first stop was at the Goodwill in Canal, Winchester. The shelves were packed. I was being really selective, so I didn't take this cast iron candle holder with no price on it. I also had to turn down these adorable boots because when I tried them on, they were miserably uncomfortable. Dang. But when I first walked in the door, this caught my eye. Ugh, I don't know if we can even get it in the frame. This is a little side table. I have been on the hunt for little tables and benches and things that I can set things on low to the ground or sit on low to the ground because there's a lot of times in filming where I want to do everything lower on the floor. It's, it's just worked out that way. So this is going to be amazing for that. It's really cute. I wish it weren't so damaged. I think this is a veneer and it's got some moisture damage. So I think the only thing that's going to be able to happen is that I will eventually have to paint it to get it properly fancified, but it's really not bad. And six bucks, really useful little table for staging or props or even just as furniture. And right next to it, I found these, two of them. Just a square padded uh, ottoman? What are these? I keep calling them squares or cubes. They're basically ottomans. Anyway, they were $4.99 a piece. Again, the staging, setting things on the low to the ground, they're in pretty good shape. They're fake leather. And normally I wouldn't have leather in the house, fake or otherwise, because I live with four cats. They don't claw things and they're very civilized, but when they climb up on the furniture, they use their claws to get themselves up. And while decent fabric can take that, there is no leather, fake or real, that can handle kitty claws. So I think though, these are low enough that when they hop on, there's no having to pull themselves up. So I don't think these are in any danger. And it's a good thing because the cats are really enjoying sitting on them. <laughs> the next thing that caught my eye on the shelves So we have three candle holders here, very large and heavy in really good shape. I don't know what you call this. Is it a oiled bronze look? I can't tell what kind of metal they are underneath. They're heavy, they're solid, they're made in India. They're not old, they're clearly a newer item. They're a little scuffed up here and there, mostly in really good shape. They were only $2.99 a piece. I have a lot of candle holders. I do not have a lot of impressive large candle holders. A lot of my candle holders that I have are very little and I mean, these are kind of gorgeous. I don't know how these are gonna age. Looks like they have some kind of finish on them. Like they're gonna turn out to be brass or silver colored. I don't know, does anybody know? Do you, do you know what this finish is? Anyway, they don't match and this one's just a little bit darker than the other two, but they go together quite nicely in an eclectic ensemble, and I am very happy with them. They're gorgeous. Now, while I was there, I did find some clothing. This caught my eye, little sweater by Rue 21. I like the color contrast and the tassel and the flow, but I didn't try it on in the store. And when I got it home and put it on, I was not sure how I felt about the way it fits. 
for one, it's very small. It, it's an extra small and I didn't notice that in the store and that means they think I don't have arms. And so it's really tight, but that's not such a big deal. The part that really makes me feel kind of lukewarm about this thing is it hangs kind of off to both sides awkwardly. I almost feel like some kind of awkward short necked ostrich flapping around. So I don't know, what do you think? Would anybody look good in this or am I being too hard on it? Now this cardigan is more traditional. JJ Always is the brand. Never heard of that. Again, it's small, so the sleeves are just a little snug, but not bad. The collar is this dark gray, and so is the cuff, and I really like that. And then bonus, when I tried this on, I noticed there's a little hook and eyelet so that I can close it in the front. So there's two ways to wear this. So this is gonna be a really nice sweater, and I may not have to wait until fall to wear it because in the summertime, everywhere I go, the air conditioning is cranked down to unsurvivable temperatures for me. So I am always carrying a sweater or a jacket with me, even in August. It's And then I found these and I almost didn't grab them because they're totally not my normal jam, but there's something so appealing to me about the pattern on here and the color of the elephants. And this is by Harem Pants, www.harempants.com. So probably fast fashion, <laughs> but they fit quite well. I think they would look really good underneath a long tunic or a caftan. So I'm really happy with them, even though they're outside of my normal jive. And then this was probably the best clothing find at this stop. This is a suede jacket by Review, and it's this just weird lime green, yellowy green sort of a color, and that's probably why it was in the Goodwill. It's in very good shape. It's one of those colors that you either like or you really don't, but I happen to like this color. It fits well. It's just a tiny bit big on me, but that's not a problem for a jacket. It's really fun. Although wearing it, I kind of feel like MacGyver or something. Or like I'm gonna roll into some small town and start solving crime. Ninety-nine cents. I just love it. It looks like some kind of tadpole. I think it's a spoon rest. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it supposed to be a candy dish? I'm not sure. It's lovely. It's got a retro feel to it. It looks like a tadpole. But I like it. And it's real solid wood. And I think it is a really nice accessory, whether I have it on a coffee table or the kitchen counter. So. So that was everything I found at the first stop. That's a lot. I still had five places to go. Then I headed over to Ohio Thrift on Refugee Road. The neighborhood seemed just a little sketch to me. It was run down. I don't know the area, but as soon as I was inside, everything was bright and clean and fully stocked. It was very much what I've come to expect from an Ohio thrift. So, whew. And like I said, this place had a lot of inventory. I was so tempted by this vintage ashtray for a candy dish or a candle holder. But what I finally convinced myself of was that it was just too obviously an ashtray. So I didn't get it. I don't know. Did I make the right call? I've never seen that bubble pattern before and I really liked it. What I did pick up at this Ohio thrift was a couple of items of clothing. This dress called to me. The velvet burnout is just, oh my goodness, I just love it. I think it's so beautiful, just luxurious. ECI New York is the brand. Again, I picked this up 
and I didn't try it on. And when I got home, I put it on and I was so frustrated. There's this weird gather where the zipper ends. It's got a little bit of a pucker to it. So I think it just happened to be sewn a little funny, very frustrating, but also the bust sits way too high on me. What I realized was that this was designed for somebody with a lot shorter torso than I have. I, I do have these hulking shoulders and sometimes clothing designs don't take that into account because a lot of women have a lot narrower and shorter shoulders. What I realized is there's a really easy fix for this. If I wear this lower, the zipper funniness isn't very obvious. Also, the neckline sits at the right spot. So what I'm going to do actually is take the shoulder straps apart at the seams and add in some kind of strap or lace or chain, something that looks good that will allow this dress to sit a couple inches lower. And that's gonna take care of the weirdness in the fit and it's gonna look a lot better. Quite frankly, that extra shoulder detail is going to improve the dress just a little bit, I think. So still a win. I just love how elegant this is. I love the cowl neck and I'm not usually a high low kind of a person, but I think it kind of works on the hem of this dress. I don't know, is this a little bit of a 20s style? Now, the real question is, why do I keep buying elegant dresses when I do not have an elegant life? I also found this fun little jean jacket vest. Arden B is the brand, never heard of it. You know, I think I had one jean jacket when I was a kid, ever. I'm coming to the 80s just a tad late, but really like the retro feel here. I have no idea if this is actually a vintage jacket. I don't know how to tell. I don't care. It's just cute. I really like the studs on the collar and the shoulders and the pockets. Super cute. Back to the 80s. So that was everything at that Ohio thrift. My third stop was the Volunteers of America on Maxway Avenue. Now I didn't get a shot of the outside of this store because for some reason my phone just didn't take the image. I liked this cabinet for a project, but they wanted $20 for it. Now this place was a lot bigger than I thought and pretty well stocked, but I only ended up with one item. This was under $2. It's supposed to look cast iron, but I think it's stainless or something like that, maybe brass painted black. It's another really cool statement piece candle holder and having a lot of nice candlesticks is really helping me get my vibe on whatever I'm doing. And then on to the Goodwill in Reynoldsburg. This one wasn't huge, but it was still stocked and they were bringing more things out while I was there. Also, what is this weird shaped basket for? Now, I did some damage at this Goodwill. One of the first things I found, two more dark bronze colored big candle holders. So these go with the other ones. They're the same color, if not the exact same finish and they have been used. They're gonna need to have some wax cleaned off of them. Not a big deal. These are by The Great Indoors, so I'm guessing these are not made in India. There's French writing on here, so, huh. Barcode and everything. These were $4.99 a piece. So again, just great to add to my collection. And of course, if you are into candle holders, you probably need candles. So I found five of these spherical candles, these big ones, and then a pack, a pack of nine that are smaller. They smell terrible. They smell like soap. In fact, I had to look at these three times to make sure that they were not, in fact, soaps shaped like candles, because Boy, I swear they look, they smell, and they feel like soap. But it's a candle. It even has burn instructions on the bottom. Now, these are by Kohl's. At first, I was kind of hesitant because how is a spherical candle gonna burn? But they're by Kohl's. Kohl's doesn't sell crap, do they? I don't know. They may just not have a really good burn. 
and I may end up with a lot of extra paraffin, but I've never had spherical candles and it appealed to me and I'm probably never gonna run out now for the rest of my life. I think I'm set. Now this was also on the shelf and stone and crystals and that kind of stuff always appeals to me. I don't really have anything in this particular stone so I was kind of on the fence. But then inside the felt sticker that's supposed to go on the bottom of it but has separated is marked as onyx from the island of Crete. So this was either mined on Crete or in nearby Greece maybe and handcrafted in that local area and then sold in a tourist shop in Crete. That just upped the value for me because Crete is special to me and having something physically from Crete is kind of nice. I wasn't entirely sure if this was some kind of vase or candle holder. So I looked it up and these are candle holders. You, you put like a tea light or a votive in here and the light glows through the onyx. So that's kind of exciting. Oh, and the ones I did find online were $26 a piece. So I made out at that Goodwill. I'm very happy with those purchases. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I found clothes there too. Purple tags were 50% off. And this was a purple tag. This is by Jade. This is just a really fun, I don't know if it's just a flowy top. It's supposed to be a swim cover. I'm gonna use it as a top or a swim cover. Either way, I liked the butterfly. I liked the yellow, it's just very cheerful without being super cheesy cheerful. Now this hangs largely on either side like that sweater did, but I feel like this one works. It doesn't look like some weird gangly bird or moth. A little bit more elegant. Can't wait to wear it. And then I found this in the skirts section. This is by Pretty Little Thing. And I just thought it was cute. And since it was a purple tag and it was only like two bucks, I thought, why not? This detail is just adorable. Problem is, it's only on one side. This would have been so much cooler if these keyhole cutout situations were on both sides. Come on, people, design clothes better. Uh, nevertheless, it is still pretty fun. So, so we've got this sort of party on one side, boring on the other. But it is still really fun. Now, I think, I suspect this is actually supposed to be a dress. Problem is, I have a long torso. There's no way for me to wear this and move. I can't sit down, I really couldn't walk, I certainly couldn't bend over. Also, the only reason that this looks good at all like that is because I already have a bra on underneath. Tube tops don't look good on anyone. Just say no to the tube top. So, there really isn't anywhere I could wear this as a dress and get away with it. Maybe if you had a shorter torso and you made sure to have the right kind of little shorts on underneath. But for me, it's gonna be a skirt. Even as a skirt, there aren't many places I can wear it and get away with it, but it's too fun not to. So we'll find a way to wear this. So after that, I headed over to the Pickerington Goodwill. And here they really didn't have much stock. This was actually probably my least favorite stop out of all six places, unfortunately. I was tempted by the collar on this dress, but the fabric was cheap t-shirt material. So I wasn't having too much luck, but then in the furniture section, there was another cube and this one was less than $2. Now it is more beat up than the other two, but I couldn't pass it up. I was like, if I've already got two, it's better to have three. So I snagged it. Now this one doesn't match. It has a lid. So this is actually a storage ottoman, even better. And I did kind of balk at how torn up this is, but the thing is, this would be such an easy reupholstery project. So at some point I will just put some really nice fabric on this and good to go. But for now, it's a functional piece that I can use 
when I'm trying to stage for filming. So still happy with it. So not much happened at that Goodwill, but then I headed over to the Volunteers of America in Pickerington. This funky side table was a deal at seven bucks. And this dresser is an antique. And 40 bucks would have been amazing, but it was busted. So the pricing at VOA is a little mysterious to me. I was so tempted by these silver vessels made in India, but what would I even use them for? I did find another jean jacket. I don't know, I'm just on an 80s roll right now, I guess. Now this is a more traditional jacket by Banana Republic. This may actually be the very first thing I have ever owned from Banana Republic. Why are you knocking stuff over, babe? That was a lamp. I think there are squirrels on the porch. I think that's what's got them going. Again, I have no idea how to tell if this is vintage or a later model, but it feels kind of new to me, but this is not my area of speciality. This is kind of fun. It's really versatile. And I feel like when I'm wearing this, Almost like I'm signing up to be in the uh, Rat Pack or something. And then I was in the furniture section. <laughs> it was a day for cubes. Resistance is futile. So these two were almost $3 each and they are a little beat up. Not as bad as the Singleton, but definitely not as good a shape as the first two. However, these do have lids that are also serving trays. How cool is that? So again, I will probably want to reupholster these. How is that set in there? Oh, there's screws. Okay, easy enough. So yeah, easy to fix, the upholstery. And I think these have more cushion and more structure. They're a lot heavier. So, um, I now have five Ottoman cubes. I think I'm good. It was just kind of one of those things where I'd started getting them and then it was like they were everywhere and I ended up collecting. I don't know, sometimes this just happens, right? The universe sends you weird shit and you just, are like, okay, I don't know where this is going, but I'll play along. Stay tuned for future videos to see how I incorporate these. <laughs> if nothing else, the cats are really enjoying jumping and climbing on all of these, so. I also found this throw pillow. It is big and it is orange and it is in really good shape. I'm very hesitant to buy pillows at a thrift store for obvious reasons. These were all marked as being sanitized. Although I don't know how thoroughly you can sanitize a pillow. Nevertheless, as I said, it's in such pristine condition. The fringe has no wear on it. And these things mat down so fast if the pillow is being used much. So I just decided to take the risk that it's not full of human germs but this is so my vibe and kind of universal for me with the orange and the earth tones. So it's gonna fit in just about any room I would design anyway. Actually, it looks kind of good here. <laughs> like I said, kind of my vibe. So happy with that. Okay, I was having fun. I found a leather handbag, black. I thought this was just really cute with the faux alligator and the buckle hardware details. Oh my goodness, this little charm, I didn't notice that. That's kind of cute. The fabric inside is really nice. I like that. I would wear a shirt or a dress out of that fabric. This is by Brighton, created in China from quality leathers. So there's a uh, model number or a serial number up here. So it's decent enough, $7.99. And you may be wondering, Cypress, didn't you just recently buy a whole haul of handbags? Yes, I did. But not a black one. And not a gray one. I found this one too. This is also genuine leather, 
Now it looks like it's supposed to have a shoulder strap that isn't with it, but I'm not gonna need the shoulder strap because that's how I'm gonna do. I've been wanting a gray handbag for many years actually, so now I, I actually have one. I'm now going to be able to match just about any outfit. Oh, what is the brand on this one? Oh, Lucky Brand, made from Italian leather. Anyway, accessorizing, very important. I think that this last item I'm gonna show you is the best score of the entire haul. I was in the art department and I found this $3.93, less than $4. Is she not amazing? We have this glorious half-naked, crazy redhead, downy absinthe. I was smitten. And for under $4, there was no way that I was gonna leave her there. So I brought her home. And I was curious about this because it's clearly not the original piece of art. It's clearly a print on canvas, but the original art is a poster advertising absinthe. Turns out this was made in the late 19th century. And to find this version of it stretched on canvas like this at Overstock, one would pay $186 before tax or shipping. So I'm feeling really smug about this find. She's huge. This is a nice big piece of art. I think I'm gonna put her in my office so I can enjoy her while I'm working. Okay, that was a lot. That's everything. What did you think? What pieces did you like? What pieces did you not? Is there anything I passed on that I shouldn't have? Six stores in one day, and I found at least something at every single store. That never happens. Very successful haul. I'm very happy. A lot of goodies. My house is now populated with cubed ottomans. I don't know what that's about. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you in my next video. And until then, keep the shopping wild. Oh baby, why are you throwing up? You ate too much, didn't you?